Hello, my name is Sally Ann Parsons, and uh, we're in the fitting room of my business, which is called Parsons Mears Limited. Uh, we make costumes for the theater. We've been in business since uh, 1980. We've made costumes for Cats, Lion King, the revival of Guys and Dolls. Hi, I'm Christian, and I'd like to take you around Parsons Mears Costume Shop today. I'm the workroom manager. This is where about 60 different employees work on any given project during um, any time of day. We first receive a sketch of a costume from a costume designer. These are costumes, sketches from Little Mermaid on Broadway. These sketches are designs from Tanya Naganova. They were added to Little Mermaid after it came to New York. After we receive the sketch, we start to figure out how to execute the costume from top to bottom. Once we have a design, then somebody makes um, you know, a, a pattern, they drape something up on a stand, you show the designer, uh, if the designer says okay, then you make it up either in its real fabric or in mock-up fabrics. You call the actor in, the actor comes in, the designer comes in, you fit the costume to, you know, to the actor, to the dancer, you make sure they can do whatever they have to do in it. The sketches are assigned to each of the drapers. Lisa's one of our drapers, and she's one of the people who um, makes the paper patterns that are usually based on a three-dimensional dress form. So using a form that is either padded or um, augmented to be exactly the same measurements as an actor, then in muslin or some inexpensive fabric, the costume is draped first in a mock-up form, and we often go right into a fitting on the actor with that before we go into the more expensive fabric that has all of the treatment to it. After the drapers have draped on the dress form and have begun the patterning process, a lot of the work gets handed to first hands in our costume shop. Pretty much the draper will come to us and say, um, I figured out how to make this pattern, and he'll hand us the pattern. And oftentimes they'll look a lot like this. Like these are pieces of bodice patterns. And it's our responsibility to take these pieces and cut them out and hand them to our finisher who pins them, who hands them to our operator who stitches them on the machine. These are our operators who all work by machine. And these are our hand finishers also working on many different projects. What Sophie is working on here is the unitard that goes underneath the Tin Man in Wicked. So under his tin parts, there's a body covering that is also looks like tin, but it's really painted fabric that's kind of teal and gray mixed together with a brush technique to give it a more tin appearance. This is Parsons Mears paint department. At any given time, we have up to five painters who work here. This is Mary, who's one of our painters. Hello. And one, one of the things she's working on is for A Little Mermaid on Broadway. This is a pair of tights that is ombre dyed. She's painting with spray today to give it that even transition from flesh to the watery colors of the mermaid color palette. This is Parsons Mears fitting room. We're able to split it into two in case there are two fittings happening at once, which often happens. Making costumes for the theater is actually a, a collaborative art. You know, we, we bring our artistry to it, but what we're doing is fulfilling the designer's vision, and we're taking a two-dimensional drawing and turning it into a three-dimensional object that can, you know, dance, jump up and down and sing. People who want to get into the, the making of costumes, well, it's important to somehow learn how to sew. And then if you want to go on with it, you need to learn draping and pattern making skills. Thanks for coming by, and we hope to see you at the theater.